Greetings and welcome back everyone to Kingdom New Lands and to me with a slightly croaky throat there. There we go, Yennefer. Ah, oh, no coins. So sad. Ah oh, well, in yesterday's episode, we destroyed the Blood Moon, which means this should be a free day. So we're going to launch our entire guard off to break the remaining portal on this side of the map. Uh, should we go and... Well, actually, no, there's no particular need for us to follow them. They can deal with it on their own. Instead, we're going to go and hopefully get ourselves a, a wee little bit of cash that we're going to be able to use to pay the Archer Shrine and just top that up. Because we're going to have to deal with a counterattack. Counterattacks, as well you know, not my favorite thing to have to fight through. But on the plus side, we should be okay in terms of only having one side to fight on at this point. There we go. Now, it's going to be a little while before we get the next Blood Moon, so we uh, should be fine with that. There we go. And through the portal we go. Uh, go on, then, uh, Yen. There we are. Now, hopefully, we can uh, get rid of those enemies fairly quickly. A little bit more cash. Do I have some more cash? Apparently. Well, we're going to use this to get some more bows, I think. That is definitely what we want. And hopefully, my farmers will have a little bit of cash as well. I can get even more bows. And by a little, I mean an awful lot of cash, of course. An awful, awful lot of cash. Let's go ahead and top all of these up. There we are. And then head out to our front line, where we may need to use some cash to create a money shield. Probably not, though, all things told. I imagine we'll generally be okay, though they're fairly close to their portal, so the, the attack is probably already going to be there by the time I reach them. There's our fallback position, nice and well defended. And here we are. I could, if absolutely necessary, rush out and try and... Uh, we are quite a lot, to be fair. And that place has already lost. Oops. A couple of coins over on this side. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. It's lost the defense. No, we've lost the defense there. I'm going to drop a couple of coins just to dissuade them from attacking my uh, troops. Let's drop a couple more. That's right. You guys keep going. We shouldn't have any basic greed following. No, 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 b bad, bad, stupid, bad. Okay, good. Let's keep going. Come on. Some coins for you. Keep going. Just run. Uh, oh, well. They're probably going to die fairly uh, swiftly to my arrowman there. One of the golems is down. There are still a bunch of golems here, though. That is terrifying. But they are now getting attacked from both sides. And there we are. We did, in fact, win. Okay, well, good, 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 good. We've got a bunch of people who've lost their jobs, though. There we are. And a load of the greed got slain before they could uh, actually get away with my cash. Which I consider pretty bloody awesome. But we really now need more builders. Like, super, super bad. That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate, in fact. Let's go and sort that out, then. But... We defended from the Blood Moon, and that is the main thing. Or rather, the counter-attack. I mean, there effectively is a Blood Moon, though I fancy that the counter-attack um, are typically a little bit more nasty than a regular Blood Moon. Uh, that's what I would say, at the very least. Let's get a bunch of builders to replace the two or so that we lost. We'll also give our banker just a load of coins. I want super many coins put into the bank, please. All of these coins should be picked up by the banker and stored. There we go. Because I just frankly do not need to collect them. What I am going to need, though, is probably on the following day... Right, we've got enough people that we should have our builders show up soon. But I am going to need... Yeah, I'm going to need to start getting money ready for a money shield tonight. 
because I don't think that wall is going to be repaired in time. It's also not going to be buffed, so that is also a concern. Uh, Yanifer isn't going to be ready to eat for a little while. Let's go ahead and get back to the front. Hello. Now, by themselves, this archer tower would be able to turn back a significant portion of any attack wave. Yeah. And I'm strongly considering the possibility of expanding out and building another archer tower right by there. I think that would actually be pretty awesome, to be perfectly honest with you. We've got enough money to turn back quite a number of enemies now, about 15 of the greed, but fairly certain they spawn in significantly high numbers of that, like 40, maybe even 50 greed will spawn of a night, so it's not going to do a huge amount of good yet. That being said, our guardsmen, we didn't lose any knights, we only lost archers and, and their bows, generally. I mean, we got the people back. There we go. We know that they're only going to be able to attack from this direction. So, let's drop a little bit of coin. As soon as we see them, we're going to start just dropping the coins down. Okay, there you go. Our builder is there. We're going to hold tight here. Archers, thank you. Start taking them out, please. Don't let them get past the coins, because once they do... Becomes difficult for us to defend the builders. That's right, keep it up. All of the coins, all of the time. Oh, you brave, brave builder, you. Brave builder. Look at that. The masks are going down fairly quickly. It is sad watching the builders rush forward and then just get beaten up constantly over and over and over again. I think one of them did manage to swipe a hammer, though. That is a bit of a sadness, really. And there we go. Well done. I approve. You managed to turn back the tides. Sorry that I couldn't offer more help, but there we are. Um, should we go ahead and upgrade? I think we should. Let's do that. Let's also grab some more coins. We're going to need to get the buff shrine before the next blood moon, definitely. But prior to that, we should be okay. Uh, oh, there we are. Someone did actually manage to steal your coin. I'm sorry. Alright, let me go and see what else we can do. We sh Yeah, there we go. More and more builders heading this way. That's fantastic. We'll also build up that tower while we wait for our boat to get further and further towards the uh, opposite end of the land. Now, I do need to go over and see. Though I'm fairly certain that that last portal, it literally is the pier beyond it, but it's been a little while. So I don't remember if I actually checked that or not, or if I'm just imagining it. Um, we have got a couple of vagrants around the place. Let's get all of that topped up. Anyone else? No. Okay. Well, I would like... I don't think we need any more builders. I don't think we want only archers now. There we go. And we want to drop a load of cash for our banker. You can have that much. I'll take the rest back with me. There you go. And... Yennefer, you can have something to nom. We could pop down another farm if we absolutely wanted to. I don't see there being that much point in it at the moment. Uh, because, honestly, with the amount of farms we've got, we're already guaranteed a full burst, more or less, when we go past it. Because we don't go past it every single day. I could, but I don't think I will. I don't think it's really that necessary. What I would like is to get this tower upgraded further. Should have been doing that a little bit more, but... That's... Well, our builds are probably going to be able to finish it off quickly. Uh, are they not... Multi oh, there's only one going forward, okay. I was assuming that we'd get two, but alright. Oh no, there we are, we do have two, they were just walking. Perfectly in uh, synchronization. We'll leave it at that for now. Tomorrow we'll uh, push that a little bit further. 
I'll eventually get that all the way up to a three, a level three tower. Because uh, the amount of damage we're going to be doing to the the greed as they wander past is going to be absolutely obscene, in a good way. Uh, there we are. Era is definitely behind the walls. All is well for the time being. All is well. Right. I actually want to see how many of the greed managed to get past you. Once there's three of you, then I could drop the the um, money shield. Is going to become even more useful because the greed. I, if I drop the money over here, then they've got to go back through a, th uh, a three archer tower that's far enough away that them the, they'll probably not always be shooting at approaching greed. I don't think they prioritize approaching or fleeing greed. I think it's just random. But if most of the greed have already walked past, then the only things they can shoot at are the ones that are trying to flee with my money. Uh, this wall is starting to uh, collapse, which is not good. Keep up the focus fire now. That's right. Keep it going. We're almost there. Need a little bit more gold, please. Go ahead and nom you. There we are. Oh, the knights just decided that now was the time to leave. Well done. And that's it. So day 30. Well done there, little archer. You, you've done me proud. Right. Come along then, Era. We have to head into the dark, dark forest, past the dark, dark portal, all the way to the masonry shrine. Let's get that going. And we should be good. Uh, I'll only top it up once, because I'm not building any other walls. So I really don't need to worry about having it for multiple days. I just need it for tonight. Come on, Ira. And out we go. The portal should not activate, and even if it does, it's not that much of an issue for me right now. And uh, let's go ahead and get this portal upgraded to the level 2. Or rather, um, level 3. Yes, it's level 3, but it gives us two archers on it. There we go, that has been upgraded. Now what I should do is while I have the chance, I'm actually going to hang around here and help them get this set up. The moment it's finished building, I'll upgrade it again. But then I'm going to go and get a catapult for these guys. So I feel that's going to be very, very important. Though, looking at how long it's taken them to get this finished at all, I might need... To leave that until tomorrow. No, I think we've got enough time. Let's go ahead. Get this upgraded, please. There we go. I'll go on to leave you a bit of a money shield around here, though. There you go. That should dissuade any... Well, that should dissuade enough greed to ensure that that tower is finished. I don't need the money. At the end of the day, the money is not important to me at this point. Especially given that every time Yen stops for a, a, a light snack, she cooks out three extra gold. Wouldn't mind upgrading this tower eventually. But I'm not even sure I'm going to be on the land that long. The boat at this point may well have already reached the area around uh, my knights, so I should actually send the knights out to follow it. But we'll see if we can go ahead and completely complete this land. And by completely complete, I mean smash all the portals. Might as well, honestly. Let's get that. Get to... Oh, really all my bread? You scallywags, you. Let's get this going. I'll make you a builder. Then let's get some extra bread. Now, the, the way the uh, comments have suggested that this works is that when a vagrant reaches the bakery, eat a loaf of bread. Immediately follow, well, after a short time of just hanging around and waiting, they move on. If they move on, then they get a short way from the castle, and they're like, oh, there's bread. I better run back and get the bread. And so it just keeps happening over and over again, and they just keep coming back to eat more of the bread. A little cheeky, honestly, but okay. Right, let's go and see how things are going. Actually, you know what? I don't need to. Let's get this on the build. There we are. This will give us a lot of different fallback locations. Should we need them? Uh, 
Ah, so I just shoot all of the arrows. Oh dear. I have not got the archer bonus. That is important. Look at the spread of those arrows. They are not the uh, perfectly accurate death bolts that they used to be. Okay. Though I think most of them have just turned back. Have they not? Ooh. Not a good time. Not a good time. We need more archers. We need them to reach that location. I'm going to have to go and top up the shrine again. That is unfortunate. That is super, super unfortunate. Go. I'll leave some coins there to secure my escape route. Stay with me, Aira. We need to go and buff the Archer Shrine. It has been too many days. We've neglected it. Neglected it horribly. There we go. And I've got three coins to purchase my safety, should I absolutely need to. Let's hope this portal is not turned on. No. Okay, good. Alright, we will make a run straight down for the opposite side and the Archer Shrine. Get that buffed up. There we are. Make sure we've got enough money to do it. Okay. Everything should be good. The Knights should return. We should have plenty of... Um, plenty of defenders at that, that point. Uh, sure, go ahead and upgrade that for me. Yum. Thank you. Enjoy. Okay, can I need to stop off here, get me some money from the farmers. And you. Thank you. It looks like the builders were walking past just as the harvest came in. There we are. Top up the bows if we have to. Thank you. Very much appreciated. Oop, dropping money in the drink. And... Whomp. Okay, we should be fine. Got more than enough money to top up the Archer Shrine for the next three days, so that's perfectly fine as well. We'll weather this Blood Moon. Once the Blood Moon is gone, here we go. Blood Moon is here just as I get the Archer Shrine active. Now... I'm not going to go and check on the on the town. I'm going to leave that to suspense. So much money over here. Hello, 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 hello. Don't need the cash. Can I launch you? I don't think I could launch you if I couldn't send you to the ship. Get out there. Go, go, go. Thank you. Let's see how this is going. pop this all the way down. Actually, yeah, I will. I'll pop it all the way down to the other portal. There we are. I'm going to hope that they get to the ship in time. We've got a long ride back. You know what? No matter what happens, we're not going to get it in time. So, we may oh, well, no, now we will. Okay, I take it back. Good time to hear. Hello, vagrants. You are now members of the kingdom. Let's get this topped up. We're going to need more bowmen, please. There we are. Hello to you as well. More, 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 and more bowmen, please. Let's go make sure that this is done. Oh, this blood moon is lasting a long time. I'm not liking that at all. This blood moon is lasting a very long time. The music is still very eerie. That is a bad sign. Get that upgraded. Oh, they're falling back. Did you survive it? You did just survive it. How glorious. How utterly glorious. I approve. Oh, I'm going to have to go into the forest to top up that shrine again. My goodness. This shrine is stealing all of my cash. Let's drop a couple of coins there. Now, can I actually afford to start smacking the portals? Probably not, to be perfectly honest. Probably not. But, I'm going to do it anyway. Because worst comes to worst, I can just flee like a coward. 
it'll be fine. Um, don't have enough. Not that I would need to anyway. I was, uh, I was paying so much attention to my coin purse to see how much coins I had. I didn't actually notice that I already had the highest level of the shrine. Never mind. Come along then. Thank you. Hopefully we can get some uh, more archers in that tower shortly. There's the catapult as well. I mean, mind you, they broke through that wall because we didn't have a catapult to help. Which is pretty interesting. But uh, unfortunately, we are very shy on archers right now. We really, really do need more. That is the big thing for us right now. We don't have enough archers for the towers that we have. So I certainly can't expand into these ones. That's out of the question at the moment. Nevertheless, I think we're doing okay, all things told. Thank you. It has been noted in the comments that I have played a much more cautious game on this land. And part of that comes from the fact that I simply had no recruits early on. And that, it does have a knock-on effect. Because as you get into the later game, the Blood Moons get harder. So if you have no recruits early on... Then by the time you get to the later game, even though you've got enough recruits and now you've got the, the means to bring in those recruits, it isn't as helpful because you need even more. You basically need to have had enough time to, to build up kind of a backlog of recruits to be able to weather the later game Blood Moons. So that's why I haven't been pushing. That's why I haven't been hitting the, the portals as actively because the portals themselves create Blood Moon counterattacks. So I've not wanted to bring that kind of aggression down on me. But thankfully, both sides have a lot of knights, which means they've got guaranteed defender archers. And in addition to that, I've managed now with the, ba the baker to really start bringing in the recruits. So it's not as terrible as it once was, but it's still a far, uh, a far cry from the security that I usually have towards the end of a land normally. Um, we've got two archers over here. Okay, that's that's pretty good. So we've got five as uh, five guaranteed archers, eventually six in that one location. We've got three archers here. How much do we have in the distant portal? Only one still. That's fine. That's fine. It will get better. Go ahead. You can be recruited now. Um Ah, this is the night after a blood moon, actually, isn't it? So we shouldn't actually see any attack waves. You know what? I should have already attacked them. I should have hit them. But I didn't. That was a mistake on my part. That being said, I can afford to launch a very sizable attack force. I'll only launch three. I don't need to launch all four. Not for a single portal that's that close. My knights will arrive long before anything is going to spawn. We're good. Let's get a little bit more. We'll continue generating more cash for now. I don't really need to follow them, but you know what? I am. I'm going to see how fast these three knights are able to take this portal down. Because, of course, the more knights you send, the more guaranteed archer support units go with the knights. Thus, the faster the portal goes down. That knight is losing his mind. All right. We can start pushing out now a little bit if we want to. Whether we want to or not is the question, and I don't really want to. Uh, not yet, at the very least. I will be dropping a money shield to try and help us through this blood moon. Honestly, if you've got the cash, if you're not in a desperate situation where you need that money to get builders or farmers or um, archers, for, for that matter, then yes. Every night, drop a money shield. The more damage that you can um, mi uh, misdirect through the use of money, the less damage your walls are going to take, the more likely you're not going to have to top up the masonry buff, so on and so forth. There's a lot of good reasons to use money if you have that option available to you. Especially in this case, where we've got archers behind the advancing line. So we'll be able to rely on those archers to snipe off a couple of the units carrying money away, which means that money drops back on the floor, another greed unit picks it up. So that one coin has effectively distracted 
multiple greed, like two or even three greed have been distracted by that one coin that we left there. And we'll drop all of our cash there. We don't need to be holding on to any of it. Righty yo. Oh dear. Why did you do that, you silly person, you? Please don't. Dis uh, disrupt my money shield strategy. I just explained why that's really important. Scallywag you. Right, keep it up, everyone. Alright, up, up, shoot the flying monstrosities who are gonna mess with my arches. Oh, catapult. That was awesome. That was so amazing. Ouch, so many people just got beaten up. That was unfortunate, but we've gotten rid of the uh, flying units. Now we've got a lot of death in the form of gardens, but I've got a little bit of cash that I can uh, drop if I need to. But don't worry, we are going to be able to hold this line. We've lost a shield. We've lost a shield. That is unfortunate, but these golems are going to take a lot of punishment along the way. Like they've destroyed the catapult. But, fairly certain that the, th the uh, creatures trying to escape here are, in fact, going to be dropping their gear as our archers are going to be slaying them. Oh no, the archers are gone! No, so bad. That's unfortunate. We lost a couple of bows then. But, you know, that's fine. Blood Moon's already over. I don't have enough money yet to force that to upgrade. But had we had the archers there, they would have been able to take those out. It's such a shame that archers are really won't prioritize their own safety by destroying the flying abominations. Builders will. Honestly, that's the biggest advantage of a ballista tower. Not the fact that it can pierce and can, if you get the right angle, go through like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten greed. That's not the big thing. It's the fact that they will automatically give a higher priority to the flying flying creatures. That is by far the, the most awesome thing about them. Can you not eat there, Yen? Okay, let's uh, move somewhere else then. By far. Om nom nom. There we go. Maybe I was premature sending them back to that front line. I assumed the Blood Moon was over, but apparently not. That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. I may have killed a lot of those guards then. Hmm. Have you been forced back? Yay, nay. Thank you. Kinda need that. Have you managed to rebuild the wall? Oh, thank goodness. I am very, 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 very pleased that you're not all dead. Super pleased. Did the last one die? Oh, someone went down. Would you like this? Oh, nope, you're good. You managed to pick up the bone. Okay, we're good. Hooray! Hooray for us! We are awesome! We can now expand. Need more hunters, though. Would like a lot more hunters, actually. Uh, go ahead. Let's push through this wall. In fact, if we want to, we could even push all the way to this wall and get a, another double tower system going. Might be worth it. And we'll just slowly advance, creep forward, killing the portals as we go. Now that I've guaranteed that my escape route is safe, I could try to push through and destroy all the portals before we leave. That is now something that I feel confident enough to try. But we did lose one of our knights, and that is a shame. Because I can't get those knights back. Um, it looks like it was one of the knights that I brought with from the previous land, so I can't replace that knight now it's dead. And that is a big shame. Uh, the builders managed to push this wall back. Um, as soon as we can. We could drive forward. Maybe. Get rid of that, and we'll consider driving forward to that wall there. Uh, we might have the second wall as well, just as a fallback point, but uh, we would lose the Archer Towers, which are particularly uh, a particularly nice combo, honestly. They're a very, very useful combination. Okay, well, let's fall back for now. Um, in fact, I wouldn't mind building 
a wee farm somewhere. No, the farms are all so far away. Oh well. Right, I need to go and get some more recruits. Then I'm going to go check on our our boat. I'm going to make sure that our knights have, have loaded onto the boat. No, the knight was kind of messed up because of the extended blood moon. Never mind. Let's get you some more bows, shall we? There we go. How are things over here? Almost no bread left. That is terrible. Which scallywag ate all the bread? I mean, come on, that's not even healthy. You can't eat that many loaves of bread and not suffer some consequences. It's not the way the universe works. <sighs> Silly peoples. Here you go. Alright. Yen, sorry, I kind of just like ran through the forest without giving you time to uh, pause and recuperate. This is a long walk, I know, I know. It sucks. But it is what it is. <sighs> and there we go. I was going to say, you're playing it up now, surely. You're a unicorn. Right, day 35. And it is a clear morning. All is well. You're not being crushed by the greed. Can you norm there, Yen? There we go. Right, well, the, the ship is ready. We're safe to leave whenever we want. So for the time being, I'm going to focus on driving everything to the east. Uh, sorry, the west. All right. Let us go. And use the portal as soon as I can find it. Thankfully, Yen has reasonable amount of stamina because that was a long run without a pause there you go go ahead ah, good times. There we are. now as long as we've got three nights we can push through the portals and as long as we put the portals close ish together um, uh, rather we move our front line out nearer the portal each time gonna need to top up the archer shrine though yes yes we are let's get this sorted there we go. And in fact, we'll take it all the way to three. Because we can. And Yen can eat something more before we need to use the teleporter. That's fine. But this will mean... Well, actually, now that we've pushed the front line forward, we don't realistically need to worry about the forest here. So I am going to chop this back and start moving it back. That being said, we do have hunters out here who still hunt. I guess I'll let it just move to this side, and it shouldn't be too bad. We can still drive deer to the hunters. That's right, go on. Both of you. Oh, no, you've gone the wrong way. Oh, no, you've gone the wrong way as well. I mean, the right way for you. Well done. You saw through my cunning trap. However, I'm going to go and get some money from the farmers, at the very least, who are probably so ridiculously wealthy at this point. It, it's kind of obscene. The nice thing is, a bunch of our people will constantly walk through this area, Whenever the vagrants come come running through, they'll go past those farmers who, at this point, can hold no more coins, so they leave the coins on the floor when they harvest. So the vagrant just picks them up. Oh, no, wait, actually, that's not true. I was banking on that, but that isn't going to be what happens. And the reason why is that vagrants don't become citizens based off of just random coins that are on the floor. It has to be dropped by me for the purpose of recruiting them, or at least dropped by me. Um, so they'll ignore them, because vagrants won't pick up the money from my kingdom. Which kind of works against me in this particular instance. There we are. I'm sure in most situations that's a good thing, but not, not this time, no. Right. Assuming that we've got enough room to expand, we'll push forward a little bit further. There you go. And there you go. Go ahead, Yen. We'll push forward a little bit further, drop another wall... We'll start pushing into the forest. We'll just try and get our front line. Oh, dear me. There is a decided lack of archers here. A really significantly <laughs> terrible lack of archers. What on earth happened there? I couldn't see them at all. 
What happened to all my archers then? They must have pushed through the last wall. Because this is the... Oh, that's why I'm, I'm all thrown off. We're way further back than we normally should be. We're usually much further ahead at this point. Okay. What on earth happened? You got beaten back soundly. Uh, there's the... Uh, there's a couple of the flying monstrosities. Lots of the flying monstrosities. Okay, we might not be pushing forward then. Come on, everyone. Let's get you out there. There you go. Go back to town. Grab your tools. Um, we need this wall repaired then. Wow, that is a that is a blow. That is a hefty blow. If you manage to kill them, I love how the uh, oh scatterbugs. I love how the knights genuinely do try to to stab them as they as they go past. But those things are taking away my people, which sucks. All right. Well, given that, then it's how many knights have we got left? If we've only got two. I mean, we could push through the portals, but we would have to really advance first. We would have to be on top of the portals to ensure that we could wipe them out in that day. Where are you? No, we got three knights. It's possible. But now that we've got regular flying spawns, we're going to be hemorrhaging archers every single day. If we had ballistas... Yeah, honestly, if we had ballistas, it would be a different matter. Because I could rely on the blister, especially where the greed, I could buy the greed off, so it was really only the flying units left to deal with. The blisters would take them out with with ease, to, to be honest with you. But the situation that we have is, unfortunately, a little bit different. Uh, I think we're going to leave. I don't fancy hanging around just to watch my people just slowly get whittled down by these monstrous creatures. Right, we're off. Best of luck, knights. I leave the kingdom to you. Go back to the kingdom. Support my knights. Uh, again. <sighs> After I complimented your stamina and everything. There we go. There we go. Right, now, since this is the fifth land, we have one more unlock, and that'll be on the fourth land. So we'll be going to a slightly easier land, only slightly. Um, but that will be it for this particular playthrough. Assuming we win, we will have unlocked everything. If that is the case, I want to start fielding the question now, because I tend to record these things in batches, so I don't immediately get a, a response. So, uh, I want to field the question now. Would you like me to start again? Would you like to see if the game has longevity or, or uh, enough randomness to make different playthroughs feel different enough that it warrants a second or third or fourth playthrough? Let me know down in the comments what you think about that as uh, we leave. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hope that Aira reaches us because I got on that way too fast. Come on, Aira. I think Aira just teleported. Fairly certain Aira did just teleport. Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> thank you very much to Thomas Vandenberg for concept programming, art, and animation. Uh, Marco Bansale, Bankale for programming and game design. And very, very many other people who are awesome. And we are going to move straight out of this because it's possibly not the last time that we're going to see it. Uh, I am going to assume that that is the final sage that we need. And I believe that would be the night sage. And it looks like we can actually go to, to Old Island. So one other thing that we could do then is not just start the game afresh and see how it goes if the unlocks are completely random. That would be a big thing if I didn't get as many mounts early on but actually got more functional things like shrines. Then we uh, could see if there are, like, achievement hunting. I know there's one achievement for living to the 100th day. How that would even be possible, I have frankly no idea. 
But that ghost is wearing a very pretty red dress. But that is it from me. I hope you've all enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. This is now potentially the last island in this series. I hope you will uh, let me know down in the comments what you think. Uh, regarding a future series of Kingdom or whether we should start achievement hunting. But until next time, take care, everyone.